Hi there! In this video, I'm going to talk about the Gauss Seidel method once again because, as I always say, the more the better. So, um, let's start with the matrix, um, which is going to be associated with our system of linear equation, and we're going to solve our system of linear equation using the Gauss Seidel method. I've been talking about the Gauss Seidel method in other videos, so I strongly suggest to see them. Um, but if you still have doubts up there, after viewing those videos then um, just hang around because I'm gonna be doing a few more examples and exercises about the Gauss Seidel method. So let's start with the matrix A as we always do. Um, so our matrix A is gonna be um, negative 4, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 2, 1, 0, 0, 1, 3, 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 2. Right, so this is going to be our matrix A. Um, then we have our vector x, this is um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so it's a 4 by 4 matrix. Therefore, they're working in R4, so the 4-dimensional space, and therefore our vector x is x, y, z, w. So those are going to be our variables. So this is actually equal to c, um, 1, 0, 1, 2. And there we go, this is our system of linear equations, which is basically negative 4x minus y plus w equal 1, negative 2y uh, plus z equal 0, y plus 3z plus w equal 1, and z minus 2w equal 2. Now this is our system of linear equation. So what I'm basically going to be doing here is to get all uh, the x, y, z and w out from these equations. So I'm not going to be solving anything as I always say. I'm just going to be, you know, um, getting those x, y, z, and w in function of the other variables. So let me just do it here. Um, well, I'm basically just gonna, gonna have... Um, negative 4x equal to 1 plus y minus w um, negative 2y equals 0 minus z, 3z equal to 1 minus y minus w, and negative 2w equal to minus z. Um, and therefore, this is, well, negative, z, negative x equal to 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4y minus 1 over 4w negative y equal to negative one half c z equal to um, one third minus one over three y minus one over three w and then last but not least we have negative w um, is two over two so we're left is one minus one half c um, so this is actually x equal to negative 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4y plus 1 over 4w, y is equal to 1 over 2z, z is equal to 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3y minus 1 over 3w, and then w is negative 1 plus 1 over 2z. So um, basically got x, y, z, and w out of those um, equations. So they are in function of the other variables. Now I can actually, now that I've done this, I can actually start with the real Gauss-Seidel method. Um, so I'm just going to be computing um, those and um, try, you know, to find out uh, what those values are. Um, so generally, when you start 
um, with, uh, when you have those kind of system, um, the textbook actually gives you, uh, you know, the, the, the starting point. So a start, um, a starting point in for which you basically apply, uh, assign a number for each variable and then you start with the iterations. Um, I've basically shown you that you can start anywhere you want, like you can even start with old bunch of one or old bunch of zeros and so on. Um, since I copied it from the book or the textbook, um, it actually gave me those starting points. So what it actually gave me is, uh, well, x equal to negative 0.400, y equal to negative 0.085, um, z equal to 0 0.390 and w equal to negative 0 0.800 so those are, are going to be my starting point so let's start with the gauss idle method and start with the iteration and I'm just going to be writing iterations iterable well iteration uh, one step one again I basically consider a full an iteration um, comprised of four steps, so one for each variable, um, and, I com and I basically consider an iteration to be full and complete. Um, there are other textbooks and you know universities and so on that basically consider an iteration each one of them without you know using step. So the notation is pretty different uh, between you know universities and countries and so on, um, but. The method is the same, so it doesn't really matter. Um, all right, so I'm gonna be writing my values here. I'm gonna basically draw a table. So those are gonna be our my values, and those are gonna be my iterations. So let's start with our starting point, shall we? So those starting points. So x is basically gonna be um, negative 0.400. Um, those are just have been given to me, but you can start as you write one to just measure of how fast it's gonna be converging to the desired value. So uh, y is gonna be negative 0.085. Z is actually 0.3900. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, 290. And w is actually uh, negative 0.800. All right, so uh, basically. What I generally do um, is to um, write, well, underline uh, all those values because those are going to be, you know, kind of, I consider, uh, basically say they're loaded um, because I basically I'm loading those values and I'm going to have to find X, Y, Z, and W. Um, so this is an actually good way to remember where you are and what you're doing. So I'm basically going to find X. Uh, from the first equation, okay, basically this one, by using the values that I basically got. So they, well, I didn't get anything, they, they have been given to me. Um, so the first equation is actually going to be negative 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 times negative 0 0.085, which is our new value for y. Uh, so our guess, initial guess. So we hope to find a better approximation. So plus 1 over 4 times negative 0 0.800. All right, so we're basically going to compute this. Um, so x is actually going to be, well, uh, we have 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25 times negative 0 0.085 plus 0.25 times negative 0.800, right? Um, so this is gonna be well negative 0.25 plus 0.021 um, minus 0.2, which is gonna give us uh, negative 0.429. So this is gonna be our um, better approximation for x so let's proceed let's move on and go to iteration one step two so for some textbook and university is going to be iteration two it doesn't you know there are no steps but it's the same doesn't really matter the method is the same so 
just a mismatch between um, notations. There are many in maths anyway. <laughs> so let's add another one. <laughs> now I'm joking. So iterations and values. Um, so my new value for x is actually going to be negative 0.429. Um, y is still going to be negative 0.085. Z is 0.390, W is negative uh, 0.800. Now I'm just going to underline uh, the values that I am not, I haven't found yet. So those are still my initial guess. I haven't found anything, um, but I'm not going to underline the X because I already found it. So <clears throat> I'm going to find, I'm going to try to find Y now. So Y is basically this equation here. So it's basically 1 over 2 z. So um, y is actually very simple. So it's 1 over 2, so 1 half times 0.390. So this is our initial guess for z. Let's compute this to find a better approximation for y. So y is actually 0.5 times so, uh, 0.390. It's going to give us y equal to 0.195. So this is our um, better estimation of y. Uh, well, it's definitely better than our initial guess, since it's an initial guess. So let's move on and go to iteration one, step three. You know, it's all very mechanic, you know, gonna be doing, just a matter of doing the same thing over and over again. You're gonna be familiar with the method soon. I mean, you should be already pretty familiar with it by now but anyway so x is still gonna be negative 0.429 y is um, 0.195 z is 0.390 and w is negative 0.800 so I'm just gonna underline Z and W because I haven't, we haven't found them yet. Um, all right, so Z, let's see. Um, Z is basically this equation. So one over three minus one over three Y minus one over three W. So it's dependent by um, Y and W. Therefore, Z is actually gonna be one over three. Mine, if we use the scalar, it's not dependent by anything, so. We leave it there. Uh, minus one over three times, um, well, one over three times 0.195, which is our new better estimation for y, uh, minus one over three times uh, negative 0.800, which is our still our initial guess for um, w. Okay, so just compute this. This is actually going to be, well, 0.333, well, I'm going to just approximate it. I know, I know, I shouldn't have approximated, but, you know, we live in an imperfect world with many problems, so I got to approximate. I don't like it, I don't like to do it, but I have to. Okay, so... <clears throat> this is basically it. Um, well, let's com let's go on and compute this. So this is o point three 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 minus uh, o point o six five plus o point two six six. This is gonna give us uh, well o point five three five. So this is gonna be our um, new value for z. And let's go on and do it again for uh, W, so the last step of the iteration one. Oops, I'm gonna get a new, a new uh, paper, piece of paper. Okay, so I'm gonna go on, iteration one, step four. Okay, so basically I have values, uh, as always, it's going to be my little table, and this is going to be iteration. 
Okay, so our values are just, um, you know, are going to be the same. So x is still going to be negative 0.429, y is 0.195, z is 0.535, and w is negative 0.800. Because you know we have just found a new value for z. Okay, and just oh, oops, where is my pen? There we go. Oh, come on, just stay there. I know, stay there. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying good boy to a piece of paper. It's not actually very enlight enlightening, but um. Anyway, so I'm gonna find w. So w is actually this one. So this equation here. W is negative 1, which is a scalar, it's not dependent by anything, plus 1 over 2z. So W is actually going to be negative 1, which is a scalar, which is just going to leave it there, plus 1 over 2 times 0.535, which is our new better approximation for z. So let's compute this. Um, so W is actually negative 1 plus 0.5 times 0.535. We're just going to give us, um, well, negative 1 plus 0 0.267, which is going to give us our better approximation for W, which is negative 0 0.733. So these are, this is actually our better approximation for W. Let's, um, let's go on and do one more iteration. Um, so iteration 2. I'm just going to do this again. Iteration two, step one. Okay, so we're just gonna start over, but iterations and values, values. But our starting point now are gonna be those one and this one, um, rather than the initial values that um, they basically gave and they have basically been given to us. So. Our new initial value for x, this time is not going to be uh, that one, but it's going to be this one from here. Um, so our new value for x is going to be negative 0.429, y is 0.195, z is 0.535, and w is negative 0.733. Okay. So, um, w is actually going to be, uh, well, I'm sorry, x is actually going to be, oh, let me just underline all of them uh, because we have to find them um, one more time. Um, so, we had just found w, we're going to start over. So, x specifically given by this equation here. Okay, so I'm going to say 1 over 4 and minus 1 over 4y plus 1 over 4w. Uh, and therefore, our new x is actually going to be given by, I'm going to say 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4 times so 0.195, which is our new value for y, plus 1 over 4 times negative 0.733. So x, that's late, negative 0.25 minus 0.25 times 0.195 uh, plus 0.25 times negative 0.733. So x is actually going to be 0.25 minus 0 0.049 minus 0 0.183 is going to give us our new value for x which is negative um well 0 0.482 okay so we have found the new value for x let's go on so iteration two step two Okay, so iterations and values, 
values. Okay, so we just found a new value for x, so negative 0 0.482, y is 0 0.195, z is 0. Um, 0.335 and w is negative 0.733 so I'm just gonna underline y z and w because we haven't found them yet and we still have to find them so y well y is actually 1 over 2 z so our new a better approximation for y is 1 over 2 times 0.535 so the value we we have found for z okay so it is going to give us um one over uh, well i'm sorry uh, 0.5 times 0.535 yeah. so this is actually going to give us y equal to 0.267 so this is our new value for y and uh well let's let's go on again there we go so 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 so, so. iteration two step three let's write our chart well our table again so iterations and values so x is equal to 0 0.482, y is equal to 0 0.267, and z is equal to 0 0.535, and w is equal to 0 0.733. I'm just going to underline z and w because those are the only values we haven't found yet in second iteration. So we're looking for z. And therefore, um, z is equal to, um, well, this equation here. So 1 over one over 3 minus 1 over 3y minus 1 over 3w. So 1 over 3 is a scalar. Um, this one is dependent by y, and this one is dependent by w. Therefore, our new prior approximation for z is going to be given by 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3 times 0.267, which is uh, the value we have just found for y, our better approximation for y, minus 1 over 3 times negative uh, 0.733, which is our last approximation for w. So z is equal to 0.333, minus 0 0.333 times uh, 0.267 minus 0 0.333 times negative 0 0.733. Okay, so then uh, z is actually 0 0.333 uh, minus 0 0.089 plus 0 0.244 um, and therefore, z is equal to 0 0.488. There we go. So we have found z. Let's go to the very last iteration. So iteration 2, step 4. So we're just basically going to find w in our last step on this iteration. So those are going to be our iterations. And those are going to be our values. X is equal to, well, it's still going to be the same, so negative 0 0.482. Y is equal to 0.267. Z, well, we have just found Z, so it's 0 0.488. And W is equal to 0.733. And we're going to find the new value for W, so I'm going to underline only this one. So, well, what was the W equation? Well, the W equation is actually this one, so negative 1, which is a scalar, it's not dependent by anything, plus 1 over 2Z, so it's dependent by Z. Therefore, our new last 
better approximation for W is going to be given by negative 1 plus 1 over 2 times 0 0.498, which is the value, the approximation for Z that we have just found, so our last better approximation for Z. So W is actually going to be given by negative 1 plus 0 0.5 times 0 0.498, which is going to give us um, w equal to negative 1 plus 0 0.144 which is going to give us w equal to negative 0 0.756 and therefore our values are x equal to negative 0 0.482 y equal to 0 0.267, z equal to 0 0.488, and w equal to negative 0 0.756. There we go.